Oh yeah. Hello and welcome to episode three of the Metacast Music Dudes. Uh, this is a show where uh, four friends get together. We share music that the other three have probably not heard and uh, judge each other's musical tastes. Tell us why we should and should not listen to what we do. Uh, so we've got um, right above me is uh, my father, John. Uh, top right there, we've got uh, my co-host from uh, the Metacast uh, movie show, uh, Distance. And bottom right, uh, all of our good friend, Craig. So how's everyone doing tonight? So I'm a, a little subpar because I had my second uh, Moderna COVID-19 vaccination yesterday. And, uh, so I'm feeling it just a little, got... bit, a little bit subpar. What are the yeah. what are the actual effects like? Like what are what kind of symptoms? Uh, a little headachey, just feeling a little blase. Uh, I didn't sleep as well. Felt more of a headache during the night. Hmm. That's yeah, sore, what the fact, of course. Is there else what the fact or... that communicate with aliens directly now or if that yes. takes some time <laughs> how long does it take for for bill gates to read your thoughts yeah. right so, so the micro trip has set in at this point it is it is it is fully connecting to your consciousness okay good <laughs> but no i i, I am interested because i i heard um for, for our state i think it's uh april 7th all adults are able to schedule appointments yeah. so i'm yeah, lo looking forward to setting up my appointment soon. So I'm wondering what I'm what I'm getting into, or whether you know what it's going to be like after the after the shots. Huh. I would love to ask the question that Distance asked last episode: Has anyone listened to Deep Purple since the previous episode? No. Have you not? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, yeah, I listened. I listened to them all the way to work and all the way back from work, like a couple days after we did that episode. Um, uh, which album? The the uh, the new one? Uh, whoosh. Yeah, whoosh. same here. Yeah, my favorite song on there. Let me look at. The, I think it was. I think it was "Remission Possible" was mm. the one that I liked that's, the most. Yeah, on that's there. a sh very short one that, that kind of leads into. Uh, uh, oh, geez, what's the name of the song about the? Uh, Maybe it was a man washed up on the shore. Yeah. Uh, I forget the name of that. It's almost like a, an intro to that song. Yeah, yeah, it was like a like a lead in. Yeah. I might be thinking the wrong song though, because I kind of like I wasn't looking at what was playing. That was uh, a man, man alive. To it. Man alive. Yeah. yeah. Remission possible is right before that. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I I, I downloaded and it and, or not I downloaded, thought... but I added Wish to Spotify and listened to that as well. Yep. There's a line in my brain that spans many many years, uh, stuff that I've been meaning to listen to. Mm -hmm. So Deep Purple and, and specifically Woosh is in the line. It's in the queue. But, yeah. right, but right now we're serving like somewhere around December of 2011. Oh, so, okay. I'll get there eventually. Okay, okay. Well, oh. I, fe I, feel, I feel privileged then because I feel like some of the things that I have suggested to you recently have actually like skipped ahead in the queue then. So that's, that makes me feel nice that well, I've like, I've, I've given you stuff that like jumped way ahead. The only surefire way to jump ahead in the queue is if it's something I have to learn for like mm. a project or a something a friend might be interested in, something that might get some a friend of mine to watch my live stream. Exactly. Yeah. See, the secret is donating to you via PayPal or or Venmo while you're while you're streaming. It makes you listen to a certain song. No yeah. secret. Yep. yep. <laughs> I'll, always follow the money. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, but anyway, yeah, so I, I did. Um, yeah, I have enjoyed listening to Deep Purple since last episode. I, I think that's a cool question to ask, though. And also, I do want to um, one of the viewers. Oh, shit. Who was it? Hold on. Uh, I want to specifically thank um, one one person here. Um, yeah, I got corrected. For some reason, I was calling the uh, album "What Now," and it's now what? Just, oh, is it? Okay. Probably nervous. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Huh. Yeah, um, but yeah, he it was said, now what? And you said, and you went on like, okay, well, here's what we're going to do next. He's yeah. like, no, it's just, that's the name of the album. It's yeah. The name of the album. Well, I even said that. I was like, I was like, I know, I know your comment is in reference to the album, but I'm going to go ahead and hijack this as a chance to, but, but yeah, so, so it was, uh, yeah, P Pony, Pony Tecker, the, um, um, that, that watched the episode and commented quite a bit, uh, suggested that I check out specifically the track. Um, was it, ch oh, was it ch Child in Time? I oh, yes. Was... That's, that's off of, uh, Deep Purple and Rock from 1970. Yeah, that's, uh, that's that a was classic. They used they used to do cool. that live, but uh, Ian Gillen just can't scream like that anymore. Mm -hmm. 
That was cool. Oh, I, I just I just wanted to too. thank him for suggesting that, and I had a I had a great time listening to that, and then a uh, great great interaction with him afterwards. But I, yeah, I was confused about the the fire. I was I was saying that white snake. No, it was great white. Yeah, I was confused. Even my oh. wife, I, I told her about that, and she says, "I thought it was white snake too." So I, yeah, I, I should have checked that before I just spouted it out <laughs> yeah. as fact. Welcome, no, welcome no... to saying things wrong on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> we all we all do it. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get a way. Well, actually, in the comments at some point later. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. well, actually. Well, guys, um, so this this week or this month is is Craig's turn. You've brought uh, you brought some music to share with us. You've told us Can't wait. Abs yeah, absolutely nothing at this point. Um, you know, you're yeah. as with last month, you know, you know, with, with John driving, uh, even though I've got the controls here, you're kind of driving, you're 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 telling me what to do. So Perfect. is there anything you want to talk about before going into song one? Do you want to just go straight into absolutely. it? Absolutely. Uh, okay. I I do wanna yeah. So I um was introduced to this music probably I want to say in 2019, I think I heard it for the first time. And, and the way I came across it was really strange. Um, I had taken a trip to, um, uh, to Europe with a couple of buddy, buddy, buddies of mine. And we, uh, we went to um, Ireland and Wales and, and uh, England. And when we were in Wales, we stayed in a town that was very small. And I probably never would have heard of had we not gone on that trip called Landudno, North Wales. Okay. And Dudno. I was, yep, yeah, spelled, hold on. L L A N D U D N O. Okay. I know, I know a lot of those like northern English towns yeah, have some yeah, interesting the, names. Well, yeah. City yeah. names are, are crazy. And they have that one that's crazy long. Have you guys seen the video? Yeah, it's like, of the it's like, yeah, meteorologist it's like saying it. syllables. <laughs> yeah. No, that's really yeah. Cool. But anyway, um, I was scrolling through one of those like music, um, like online magazine things like noisy or something like that. And, uh, it's somebody said something about a band from Landudno, Wales. And I was like, I've been to that freaking place. And, and it, and it piqued my interest. So I, I checked it out and they, they were talking about how good their latest album was on in this magazine so um i checked out the the first song that popped up and the one you're about to hear is the first one i heard too so That's we'll see if it affected you the same way that it affected me i like that oh yeah well and let's uh let's get into it so i know nothing about um what this is you've only sent me the the url and <laughs> the youtube link so i see you know yeah. i see a jumble of letters so I, st I don't know at this point so the first one is the one that ends the url ends in capital r lowercase h capital i is that correct right i bet you there's a city in wales that's named after a youtube link i bet, I bet yeah <laughs> let's uh all right let's see what song one is i'm ready I 
can come and fall at your feet. Tell me when you want to and take over my own week. Cause I'm only here playing up so that I can come and fall at your feet. Yeah, there's always something I can do. I'm digging that tone right there. And trust me, Ooh. when we get it right, we're tenfold. It's that same old. Yeah, okay, cool little bass and drum groove, too. From night to night. And trust me, it feels like I'm home. And I call, you ask for me to want a lie. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so what I'd like to do mm -hmm. is you guys set like just good, bad, indifferent. <laughs> Whoops. Something else started playing there. I don't know if that's one of the other songs you picked. That was the autoplay that YouTube not. selected. That's funny. Okay. It, yeah. it, that is actually a song that I considered and I, when I was making the four, but I did not pick that one. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Good. I'm glad it didn't autoplay one of the ones you did pick. But... <laughs> um, but no, uh, I would love to know just like first impression of that particular song because that was the same first song that I heard when I had had no idea who they were or what they would sound like. So I'd love to hear what you guys thought and I'll tell you afterwards what I thought on my first impression of sure. hearing it. Well, you're driving. Who do you want to hear first? Uh, distance go first. Because you're on top. Um, <laughs> oh, makes sense. <laughs> in the, oh, in the call, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was good. I mean... To begin with, um, it's it had like a generic kind of like indie rock feel that I wasn't really into, and then like when they did that kind of like you know pulse thing in the I, that's like that's when I started like bobbing my head, and uh, I I love that very very clearly Fender bass tone, um, like I I love the way that sounds like. I'm I'm gonna guess that was a P bass in there, but it, those might have been J pickups. I don't know. Um, I I like the rhythm section, that like kind of pulse that they're doing. I like the way that they use like eighth notes in, in the appropriate places to create more of a groove. Like the vocals are super cool. I yeah. love the kind of embellishment he does. It's very rock and roll sounding, uh, and and it's funny because like being a bassist, um, you'd expect I'd get really sad after the drum and bass break but i love the way the guitar came in right there i was like really yeah, cool nice and is that is that a mandolin that we're that we were hearing at the beginning uh i didn't pick uh, that out that yeah. I, I don't think so there was like a but... really high pitched string instrument that sounded like a mandolin or like a banjo or something in there yeah. uh and it was only you, it was very you may be right i may have missed it i'm not sure it was very subtle at the beginning and it sounded like it was doing the chord changes like a tiny bit late it like added an interesting kind of effect to it, uh, unless that was just some weird audio artifact. But yeah, yeah, that was yeah. that was that was actually really cool. Like I I like the music actually made me kind of bob my head because you know I try to like pay really close attention. Like aha, I'm listening intently, but it's nice when you kind of like can't help but yeah. So that was that was cool. I liked it. Nice, uh, John. You're second from the top. Well, I can't get that detailed. Um... <laughs> I can't remember that much. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, dude, I was typing it out in a text file. Yeah. yeah, I was like, how did you do that? Yeah, I think I know, know what you meant. There was an, I was, I heard an instrument, and I'm thinking, what, what is that? Is that maybe it's just a guitar? But um, yeah, I know what you were, you were referring to. Um, yeah, nice clean sound on the bass, mm -hmm. uh, good quality there. Um, yeah, I mean, it caught my ear. I mean, it was interesting. Uh, right off the bat, it was something that that sounded uh, upbeat and uh you know um uh, i don't know i get i get lost in the details i can't i can't think of i can't think of the detail that the distance came up with yeah. but it was pleasing i liked it yeah. it kind of seemed like um something that maybe was would, that you could sing well craig um oh me of, yeah it sounded I mean, I, I haven't heard much of you. I saw a, a few of your your uh, videos on YouTube. That uh, is ac that is actually there. me. I'm just that, yeah. <laughs> Craig's um, actually been Welsh this whole time, and he never told 
<laughs> the name Craig actually is Welsh. <laughs> oh, there you go. It, imagine how. Imagine Craig bringing himself for the first piece. Like he just brings three of his own YouTube links. Like, hey guys, so there's this, I, I there's this local singer. The sheer, the, the sheer that would have been some of it. <laughs> it's oh actually spelled like it's spelled like K C K at the beginning, right? Craig. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, yes, Craig <laughs> Baldwin. Right. Yeah. There's some G's and some A's <laughs> in there. Oh, yeah, man. that was uh. That was interesting. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. Cool. All right, Ty, what'd you think? I'm I'm in a similar boat where it, it definitely caught my ear because of the interesting uh, I'm, I'm interesting such a fucking non word. The 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 sound <laughs> of it, the whole vibe of it is is different than a lot of other things that I've heard. It kind of has the I mean like, like Distance said, it's almost kind of like an indie rock type vibe. I don't listen to a lot of indie rock, so that did kind of catch my ear as like, ooh, this is, you know, this is different than a lot of stuff that I've heard. The instrumentation I, I thought was great. The tone I thought was great. There was a lot in the mix that jumped out to me as, as being really well done. And I think that that's kind of one of the things that really sounded good to me. Not to take away from, you know, the band and, and what they're doing, but yeah, the the mix, the 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 whole sound of the song itself, I thought was, was really cool. Um, yeah, if that's something that I would have heard just in passing, it would definitely make me want to listen to more of that band, yeah awesome yeah so that was that was obviously the first i had heard of them reading some stupid article online and uh and i heard the song and i was like oh my god and it's it was funny because uh distance you said when you first started listening to it it was uh, uh generic indie rock okay yeah well i think what these guys do well and i think what you'll see more of as we go on is that they have you were talking oh you were also talking about the 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 tone of the bass and how you were sure that's probably a fender and and it's it's just got a classic you know almost analog sounding yeah, yeah, feel yeah. like it's got a classic rock written all over it but it's but it's not you know formulaic by any means it's interesting yep. it's got these little quirks to it right that that make it not just weird but musical in a different way you know what yeah, i mean oh yeah and and in, to me that it caught my ear immediately and i i loved this track and i started listening more to the band and uh i i listened to this record uh the balance many many times it's the most recent release i think it came out in 2018 or 19 but um the more i listened to the record i was like wow this band is really cool it's it hits all the notes that i like you know it's got uh some some really nice sounding like classic instrument sounds like the bass the guitar they're yeah. very they they they've got you know 70s rock and roll written all over them and you can just tell and the you can tell the recording's really well put together yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of parts that i hear new stuff every time i listen to it it's complex it's uh musically interesting and uh i'm i've become a big fan so um this album is definitely my favorite i i delved into their earlier stuff as well they had th two records before this one when and, um when did this album come out how old is the balance i, I think the balance came out in 18 okay um and then i think they had one in 16 or 17 and then one before that a, a year or two before so pretty pretty close together that's um, that's another thing that formed... would have jumped out to me too is just the name of the band and the name of the album i think are really cool too that would have even yeah, like before even yeah, listen to music like, like oh yeah that's, that's a interesting. wild name for a band yeah yeah, yeah and the bird the parrot's drinking out of a can so yeah why not why not a bottle well, it, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a toucan drinking out of a can right toucan yeah. oh yeah, yeah like i is don't it, know what the hell can, he's can. drinking because look at his eye there it's, yeah uh, <laughs> yeah like i like the art style and stuff stronger than pepsi yeah yeah <laughs> but anyway, uh, if if the um, uh, what do you call it when you look stuff up? Wikipedia p pages to be believed they were formed in two thousand seven, hmm. so um, they they they've been around for a while. But um, they also and they are well. Uh, with, with their debut album reached number ten in the UK album oh, charts. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Is it has it been the same uh the same guys since two thousand seven or have there been any lineup changes or are we, is it is it a deep purple situation here? Or is it... I didn't look that much into it to be okay. honest with you. I don't know. How I, how I'm, dare you? I'm I know I'm awful. <laughs> I'm just not as good at anything as John is. For first of all, let's go ahead and get uh, that. Jo join That's the club, man. Bullshit right there. <laughs> a load of bullshit. There is not a single thing that I can do that John couldn't do ten times better. So hmm. um, with that in name, mind, I can name one right away. Yeah. Sing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all. 
It's all smoke and mirrors. Man. You got a great voice. You have a great voice. You're very kind. But um, uh, all of the songs that I brought for this are from The Balance. And cool. the reason is it's my favorite by a, by a landslide. And I, th I think if you, on your own time, if you enjoy the band and you want to listen to their earlier stuff, you'll see, like I did, like they really came into their own in this album in my opinion the other stuff is great i enjoy it it's awesome but this one is like a perfect combination of all the things they did right leading up to it in my in my mind i want to say that in as they go on like the the musical ideas get more and more interesting and more and more kind of off the beaten path but that's not necessarily true there's just there's interesting things in all of them but um this was kind of like Obviously, this was the encore was the first one that I heard, and then the next ones are in order of how much I like them. So this this is next one is like probably my favorite one. Interesting. I, I am intrigued that you didn't save the song called Encore to be the encore, and then it seems it I seems couldn't. like you've actually put them in order to where the fourth song is your least favorite. So that, I, I don't did. know if that's a big but, selling but it, point. I, but see, that's the thing. I love the last song. The last song is would be the best song on any of their other albums in my opinion oh, yeah. and i like their other albums quite a good deal too so it's it's really good stuff it's uh, yeah in my so it's, opinion you're definitely it's, giving it's them a high recommendation like a, which your track least on the album favorite was the first song we listened to the first song is like five or six okay, okay. oh cool um well then yeah let's listen to uh the next track then let me pull it up right now That's interesting. I like this. I was singing when we come in from dinner. And this is human. Slightly reminiscent of an old song that my father used to play when he was on one. He said, I just like him. Basically, I do this all the time. Yes, I'm into that. Our tone is great. In the lift I leave the Steve was giving me the same look that he gives me when I've turned up the stage late. And I'll be working my ticket, but I know that I'll be all night. I think we best just get the balance right. That's good. Such a warm guitar tone. I love it.
That was a cool yeah. outro too. I like yeah. that. Some sort of tortured guitar sound there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm telling you, these guys are like if Weezer and Led Zeppelin fucked. <laughs> That is, They've I think got... that's a great way of wording that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One thing that is really well, interesting. Like this, this is. Go ahead. Well, like this is what it would sound like if Weezer and Led Zeppelin had a baby, and it was Kings of Leon, and this is the sound of them beating the child. <laughs> and then they moved to Wales. Yeah. And then yeah. they moved to Wales. <laughs> like, and I mean that like in a good way. We're not advocating child abuse here. Of course. No. Yeah. But no. it's like, no, no. Which, I do advocate beating up <laughs> Kings of Leon, though. <laughs> Oh, that's just horrible. kidding. They're a good band. No, there is uh, one thing that like really Kung stands Kung out Kung. to me. It, it's, it, I don't know if I noticed it in the first song, but I noticed it in that one a lot. I love that the singer's vocal track is almost completely dry. I'm hearing like no reverb mm. on it, and it kind of cuts through the mix in a special way that like I like it. it, it it's like it's, it's a really interesting tone that normally I'm just I'm used to hearing, especially with this style of music, some sort of reverb on the on the voice that I'm not hearing here that makes it sound kind of different. I think what he's got on there is a really short delay. Okay. And it's it, it gives it that sort of like vintage mic sound, you know? Mm. Oh, he said it. I was I, I wondered who was gonna say the word vintage first. Yeah. yeah. Well this is like okay. okay. Do you guys remember the, the album from the chariot that um was specifically recorded like on all analog equipment? They never touched oh, a computer oh, yeah. or whatever. This is like the tone of this album. If someone told me that same thing about this, I would believe it. There is just this warm kind of analog tone that I'm hearing that is like, like you said, very mm -hmm. 70s, very kind of vintage that like a lot of it does kind of have that. I, I don't know if it's, you know, plugins that they're using or if they are using analog equipment, but it does kind of have that that tone that I like. I would imagine yeah. a band that is doing so well in their own country probably has some uh, um, resources. So I'd imagine they're probably using real deal stuff, but. Who can say? It'd be pretty crazy if they were able to get those sorts of tones and that kind of sound and that kind of mix out of cold digital stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, man, uh, so I, I just, I love the groove aspect too, because during the verse, the bass never comes in on the beat. And I, I love that. Uh, <laughs> and like, you know, maybe this is like a weird thing to say, but like, I like it when bands use like downstrokes on guitar to like create energy because mm -hmm. there's several points where the energy builds and are just like dun 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 dun. I just I love that. Yeah. Like, and you can t you can tell like what they're like. Okay, for instance, the band. Uh, do you guys remember the Hives? Yeah. Yeah. A song called like Watch the Idiot Walk. Yeah. There's yeah. several songs where the guitarist never played an upstroke at all. And like you end up with a very, very, very different sound. Yeah. Um, and like that, I think that, that were clean before tone, my time. though. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, the uh, highs were a long time after, ago. Yeah. <laughs> they were after your time. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's <laughs> the joke. No. But no, I think like <laughs> same thing with like as che as cheesy as our Blink One Eighty Two. A lot of their guitar parts, if you play that oh, with yeah. alternated picking versus just downstroke, it has a completely mm, different yeah. feeling to it. It's like there is that like True. wanting to constantly get that downstroke rhythm or that downstroke like tone to it. Yeah. And that that clean tone though, and that kind of pre-chorus bridgey part, like, bro, bro, it's, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's nice. Yeah, that that did things to my soul. <laughs> I was like, oh. Well, yeah, they, they do a lot that's really great with the arrangement too, where certain things will drop out yeah. right at the right time and just and come back. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, the, not only are the in, the um, musicians great at their instruments, but also like, yeah, the mixing the mixing and the arrangement is 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 really well done. There was something at the very beginning that almost sounded like a a female's voice that was um, like uh, processed in in some manner. It was almost like a ah. Mm -hmm. I was something. wondering where that tone came from. Yeah, was, I was like, "What?" It oh, sounds like a, a girl's voice, but then it was highly processed. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. There's part. there's a lot of that going on in the album. There's like just interesting sounds put together in interesting places that make you go. It, it happens just long enough for you to be curious, but before you've had enough time to think about what it might be, it's they've moved yeah. on to, to the song. Yeah, you know? it, I heard it yeah. at the beginning, and I didn't hear anything from that like, continued on later at all. That is that's subconsciously so smart of sound design, though, because it actually right. makes you just want to hear it again.
That is this. Mm -hmm. there, there's this little trick that's done a lot where you you make the chorus of a song like three beats per minute faster. And what it does is it makes it it makes it subconsciously feel like that part went by too quickly and people want to listen mm. to your song again. And it's like it's this that's little wild. little subtle effect oh. that like people don't notice that they that it happens, but it messes with like their their desire to hear your song again. And it's like I wonder yeah, if like using might... yeah using little yeah. elements like that just just enough to hint at it and then and then take it away. Is that like oh I want to hear that again. Yeah, but but they also may think, oh, I'm glad the course is over. It was over quicker than I. <laughs> True, I, I guess I guess I it depends been. on how well designed your course is. That, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> is is this why I can't stop listening to Rock the Casbah? It might be, maybe. Uh, are, are you feeling the okay there, pump. distance? You, you just you're a little blurry there. Yeah, your camera yeah, you did just, just like auto yeah. auto focus you out for some oh, reason okay. as you just, said that. I thought you just is sort of had doing a, it. Yes, it is. It is, yeah. Shit, hold on. Technical <laughs> difficulties. Dude, that is that is the we'll do it live! the name of what we do around here. <laughs> we are we are all about technical difficulties. So I'm I'm into it. Oh, it's uh, it's on brand. Well, I, I, know, I guess I, I guess technically, if you were on brand, it would be audio difficulties. That's what I that's what I specialize yeah, I in. But it'll let me. There you go. It, it just auto focused back. Oh, it just it just worked. Whatever whatever You're you back did. In sync now. Yeah. You're back in phase. There he is. I prefer InSync. Is it working now? You're so pretty. Okay, cool. If I were to bring InSync as an artist, would you guys hate me for that? Yes. I mean, I would listen to it objectively and tell InSync. you the truth about how you how I felt about it. I mean, InSync we'll or the inspiration for my hair color. So there's that. I can tell. So do you guys? Tell. How do you guys feel about this guy's voice? Because for me, there's something about his weird Welsh accent that just really does it for me. I just think his voice is um, rad. I uh, I like, I like it. I mean, he's got a very like shouty kind of very like rock and roll, like almost like a Mick Jagger kind of vibe thing going on. Kinda, I think it's yeah. really cool. It's a very like fuck you vocal technique kind of thing. But it, I like but that. As far as vocals like that go, it's kind of refined, isn't it? Like yeah. he's got a very musical. Yeah. Um, it's not just ah, 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 ah. it's like it's hey 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 a lot of music i listen to is just i i okay uh, so i take uh, offense uh, to that all right uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i cannot wait for you guys to hear who i'm, I'm bringing like, like, <laughs> not so much or next like, month i mean next month <laughs> next month not so much like the sex pistols and a little oh, bit yeah. more like you know i don't know Oh yeah, I mean, I wasn't getting like a Henry Rollins vibe from it or anything. No, <laughs> I, I. But yeah, he's he ahead. sounds like it's someone. Tasteful. It's tasteful. I I do have here specifically in my notes that I think the singer's voice is great, and I even put here that it like it sounds great for multiple different groove types. The beginning of this song mm -hmm. was so different than anything we heard in the last song, and his voice still mm -hmm. slotted into both of them, in my opinion, perfectly. It's like it. The beginning of this song almost had like hip hop type vibes to me. There was like an interesting like where right. it drops out like kind of a, like a nice bass and drum groove where it, yeah, it was very different than a lot of the tone we heard in the last song, but his voice still sounded just perfect in in that in that range. I think. I love that it's like it's straight ahead like rock and roll, but it's oh, yeah. with clever quirks that yeah. make it more musical yeah. and more interesting. Yeah. I just think the the it's it's brilliant, brilliant songwriting. Okay, okay. Um, I figured it out. Hope. What? What'd you figure out? It's what'd you figure out? I think I'm I would need to listen to them again, but he sounds like a slightly more interesting version of Cage the Elephant. Okay. If you guys have heard that band. I can a hear little bit. some of those. Actually, hold on. Oh, I can hear yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I need to like listen to their songs right now. <laughs> but he's I'm going to bob bit, my head for a second. He's a little bit more uh So I would call I would call his voice a little bit less refined than this guy's voice from, Oh, it is. From, yeah. From Catfish and the Bottleman. That would be the slightly better part. He, but it's um, but it's it's intentional though, though you know. It's oh yeah. Like kind of about what you're going for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I am also very impressed by a lot of the guitar riffs. There's just a lot of yeah. like, it, it, Dude, not that it's like doing work in this yeah. band. Like the drummer's killing it, the bass player's killing it, the guitar player's doing work. I mean, everybody's earning their paycheck in this band. <laughs> yeah, and it's not like it's uh, well, you know, I guess probably as a guitarist, that's where maybe my ear goes. Maybe I'm, I'm missing some of the other stuff that is probably as good. But when I'm hearing some of the guitar work, it's not the like. So often I hear like stuff that when you could tell a very good guitarist wants to show how good they are, a lot of their guitar parts may be a little overdone. And that's not what I'm hearing from this guitarist at all. It's just like really like 
classy picked guitar leads that are like you could tell that you know the the person has a lot of skill and that their fingertips are are giving it a very very good touch but it is not just overdone with way too many like uh embellishments in it yeah right yeah it's again it's very intentional it's very thought thoughtful yep yep um are you are you ready for song three or is there anything else you want to lead into that with um i mean again this is just another song of of my favorite of theirs that they just do interesting things and it's not the same interesting thing they don't do the same interesting thing all the time you know like you know some bands are one trick ponies uh myself would be a good (laughs) example of that um but uh these guys they just it's it's creative and I, i love this tune too I guess one one thing I do want to ask is, you know, you've um you specifically said that everything we're listening to today is off of the balance. You picked that because mm-hmm. that is your favorite album. But between the two songs I've heard so far, there has been a a almost I would say like different in, in, in they're almost different in genre. It's it's like these guys don't need to like put themselves in a box and try to write like, oh, we want to sound like 70s rock this. You know, there, there were parts in that last right. song that I would never have heard in a 70s album, which I think is yeah. really, really cool. So I'm wondering, like specifically, then from their other albums, are there are they different, you know, almost genre wise than this? Is there something about this album that really calls to you, or is it just the, the general sound on the other albums is is the same? You can tell it's the same band, you know. Okay, um, but I just feel like you know, and there's plenty of creativity going on in those other albums. I don't. I, I hope I don't even remotely say that the other albums aren't good because they are. Okay. Um, but for me, the, my, my favorite five songs on this album are in my opinion, better songs than on entire, in their entire discography. Nice. I, I, any, any catfish in the bottom and fans in comments, let us know if, yeah, how you feel about Craig's <laughs> assessment there. I'd, I'd, because it is interesting to me that it stands out for a band that has been together since 2007, for you to bring four tracks all from one of their albums you know for me that is like it makes me want to like listen to their other albums more and it's like well is there something very different about those or is it just that this album really yeah go ahead because um when we did the last episode and we decided it was going to be my turn for this one i immediately started re-listening to all of it okay and i and i i had already listened to this record several times and the other ones a couple times so just to make absolutely sure that i didn't miss anything i listened to the other two probably four times each since then so Mm. i'm i'm very calm i i can tell you with with 100 percent confidence that I know which ones are my favorite. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I would be interested in knowing, is it a different, um, like, engineer? Did, you know, like, did they work with a different, like, studio and stuff on the other albums? Like, I'm wondering, like, what variable changed that, that made this different album producer? kind of have that? that yeah, the, the producer, I mean, exactly. Not, like, yeah. It's, it's, not even, it's not even that it's so much different. It, they're, it's, it's all really good. And mm-hmm. this is, these are, these songs, for whatever reason, spoke to me. I don't, I don't even necessarily, I wouldn't even go as far to say that the quality of the recording is better than the other albums because hmm. i think they all sound fantastic um and some maybe some subtle differences sure but but there's not like some magic thing that happened from the other albums to this one to make these my favorite songs i okay. don't need to say that gotcha i just mean that these particular songs like really trip my trigger you know what i mean yeah but again i can i can listen to all any song by this band and be entertained and enjoy it hell yeah for sure cool with that being said let's check out uh song number three i'm sure you know what you're doing now if it's a wall so knock it down they're great at intros Nice spacey part. I like it. You're not even ready. I 
what you're doing now. No this one could also easily be my favorite. Hmm. <laughs> you know that was an abrupt tempo change there, but I'm, I'm into it. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I I it yeah. yeah. It just gets cooler too. Hmm. They're great at designing these airy, atmospheric parts, though. It's like the soundscape is just great. We could just sit there, just in ways how you can know my thoughts. Never had a hard time. I'm talking straight off. Talk about a way to. There's a really cool vibe in this song. I like this a lot. It's a good save. Yeah. Yep. Great guitar solo. Ooh. So nasty. Yeah. That guitar tone is great. I'm in, I'm into that. Uh, yeah yeah man that was good uh, okay yeah. cool. it was cool okay because they so that <laughs> that thing that thing you were talking about before ty where it's like the, you make the chorus three beats per minute faster yeah well, all that song did was like end so abruptly yep. that i just want to hear it again <laughs> yeah right? right like okay what 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 was the title of that is that mission is that what that, that one was called? mission, mission. Yep. yeah yep. dude oh my god like, yeah that was good that yeah, was um, I, I, oh, man. I'm I'm doing a lot right now uh, with like creating electronic music, and I'm trying very hard to create the open atmospheric feelings that they can with just you know guitar and drums. Like like they are very good at doing that, and it is it's 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 I love it. What's up? I recently learned a technique that could probably help with that. Ooh. Remind me to tell you about that. After. Yeah, in, in the DMs, not 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 here. Not, we don't want to Nerds. give it everyone those secrets. Yeah. Nerd secrets. <laughs> <laughs> to our empire. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but yeah, they, they are just, they are able to, like, like I was saying during the song, like the, the soundscape they create there where enough frequencies mm -hmm. drop out that there's enough air left open that it, it's, it's great. Like the, the, I don't know if it's the engineer or the band, but the, the, the track they end up with is, is very, very well crafted. I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed. I can't wait to have a recording of you say saying what you just said because I'm gonna make a video of you saying that just to be right later when I show you a thing. I'm sure. Well, I, spoiler alert, like like the recording of me saying that exists. Like you know that it, like this is this is actually recorded, right? Okay, just making sure. I, make, I didn't know if you were I'm aware of that. It. I wanted to make I'm sure you were it and make a make a I told you so video. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, I, I love it. <laughs> but no, yeah, no, but back to the song though. I love, yeah, that th this was very, very well crafted. Um, what what track is this one on the album? Is this near the end? This feels like a like uh, mission is towards the end. Yeah, okay. I think it might actually be the th third to last tune, if I remember Dude, correctly. Yeah. Like I, I, well, okay, so all right, there. Obviously, there's a point where they go into like a halftime sort of feel, and then immediately mm -hmm. after that, is that three four? And then back oh, to yeah. that halftime kind of three, feeling. Three, four, six, eight. eight right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, 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 it's I com never, compound time, hearing, as the kids like... would call it. Yeah. 
Uh, and it's like that one part, uh, there was a point where it sounded like they, I guess it was the instrumentation was in 6-8, and it sounded like the singer was singing in 4-4. Four, four. Like, it was really weird. Like, that band Meshuggah does that a lot, where the the guitarist will be playing in 6-8 and the drummer's playing yeah. in common time. But, like, oh, my God. And, you know... I think, the, I think the part you're talking about is when he sort of does the melody from the other chorus that's in a yeah. different time mm-hmm. in the 6-8 the, the feel thing. Yep. It's a really cool feel, though. Da-da, da-da-da-da-da. Da, yeah, da, 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 da. but he's he's got an extra syllable in there, so it sounds even more triplety. Yep, I don't, I don't know how else to describe that, but it's and, it's it's super clever. It's just ridiculously and, clever. Like the thing I like is that when you listen to guitarists now, like I was right, heard to last on the album. Okay, I mean I could like list them off. Like I mean like basically any modern guitarist that's into like hard rock or like metal. Like they're all about like alternate picking and sweep picking and playing as quickly as possible and things like that. And I love the fact that he does like this searing like solo mm-hmm. where you just hear the guitar really speak and mm-hmm. you like that tone is so obvious. Like I feel he like just it's plays ripping. the right note a bunch of times. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And, like it just I feel like it's just like ripping into me when he's playing it. It's very like yeah. very like and Jimmy Hendrix. It sounds like he's got like 15 tube screamers lined up yes! all to gain all yes! the way up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like I um I've actually got a tube screamer that I've been yeah, messing with like I have one too. Sure I can do a bunch of other stuff and I don't want to pick it up. You don't hurt yourself. Um but man, like I I love the kind of unpretentious sort of like let's just make the song sound the yeah. best style. Yeah. Like not yeah. let me shine in front of the rest of the fucking band sort of yeah. stuff. Like can I get me and nothing but me up in the monitor, please? <laughs> I'm glad like, you I'm glad you brought that up because I feel like every single one of these guys is and they show flashes of it. They're capable of some oh, yeah. really impressive stuff. Yeah. But they opt to play the tasteful thing at the right moment without taking any like look how awesome i am any of it it's just like they're so good they're above it you know what i mean yeah i, for- yeah, I forget who i heard say this but it was like the the notes you play are as important as the notes you don't play oh, yeah, and I, yeah oh yeah oh yeah yeah i mean the reason That's why really you bob tough. your the reason why you bob your head in rap music is because of what's not there like mm, that's the mm-hmm. reason why it has that effect. Like if you listen to salsa, you know, like it's like super. It's like book a chick, book a chick, book a chick. Like there's something on every fucking downbeat. Like you're not gonna bob your head to that. You just you just can't. Well, yeah, you feel like you shake your hips though. I feel like shake the hell out of those hips. Yeah. I feel like there's a Miss Lillyism for that 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 concept. Like something about when you when you rest, you playing a note as well or something like that. Yeah, yeah, she's she, uh, okay. That's our that's our high school band director. I, yeah, I wondered. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I remember I, she would say, hmm. it, I, she said something when I was in middle school actually about I I better see you tapping your foot or something like that. That you're still you're still maintaining, like you're you're maintaining the rhythm and silence or some shit right. like that. Yeah, just because you're not playing a note right now doesn't mean you're not still playing the song. Yeah, right. yeah. Yep. It's like, and also like you, and in concert band, you're sitting there like ready with your well saxophone. <laughs> You'd be like this, right, uh, or whatever. I can't remember. What do you guys? Do you put on your knee for concert band trumpet? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. sorry. This is marching band. I forget um, who. I forget who it was, but um, somebody somebody was uh, take. I don't know if this was a um, you know like a uh, a number of musicians got together, but they one of the guitarists to you know, okay you solo I, it might have been billy gibbons i don't know but it was like he let like six bars eight bars go by without playing anything at all before yep. he started playing and mm-hmm. and people were, and the guys in the band were like they, they loved that they, yeah. it was different it was like <laughs> the the way he started a solo and said immediately he just just silence you know there is I, this like from- to, to correct myself earlier it was miles davis his quote was, it's uh, not it's not the notes you play, it's the notes you don't mm. play. And I do think that, like you're yeah. saying, with that with that solo right there, it's like there is so much you can do with sound and including yeah. the absence of sound that is building of mm-hmm. anticipation and building of, like, oh, yeah, there, 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 there's more you can do than just filling every single 64th note with like, all right, I can do, I can do this and this and this <laughs> yeah. and this, but yeah. <laughs> For well, sure. It's like, if you listen to funk, like, there's a lot of that in there. Like, yeah. either the bass or the guitar, those little, bam, bam, 
ba, 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 da, ba, da. Yep. Yep. Ba, yep. And like, and it's just like those little like, it's so quick, so staccato, like yeah. very quickly just hear it, like make the groove happen. Just put and, uh, also, yeah, well, I, I think, also I think wear funny clothing. So, so often fun. people talk about like the, the tension and the release of music, which I, I think is huge part of it. But there is also the anticipation. I think you can you can just like have things not be there when someone thinks they should. And it leads to this emotion of like uh, something that is different that you can create with the instrument being there. The problem is when the anticipation is that they can't wait for the song to be to end. Yeah, yeah that's that's, uh, that's a problem. Oh, it, it, if you that. want to see examples of that, Craig does post his music online. There is a, <laughs> very often you can see to. like the like waiting for the song to be over. You can tell that it just goes on way too yeah. long. So Craig Baldwin music on yeah. YouTube is a good example of that. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces, bright and nerd. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah, I like, yeah. You know, you know. I'm kidding. You know, I love your music. But I just had to. <laughs> I couldn't think of We've anything all... funny to say to go with it. It's yeah. just because the problem is you think it's a joke, and I know it's true. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. The the problem we, is we all know it's a joke, and you think it's true. That's a... yeah. We we've all expressed our our enjoyment. It's okay. Of, it makes it twice as funny music. to me. Like that's how you that's how you know someone's actually good at something because like. Or else you'd be yeah. like, well, I mean. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, if you were if you were a bad singer, you would be right now telling us how you were the greatest singer on earth. So the fact that no, the fact no, that you're maybe. modest about it, you know, lets me know that you're yeah, you're just you're level headed. Are it. you guys super stoked to hear this fourth song? Yes. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm voting no. I, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I don't want to hear any more of this well, shit. I want to hear the fifth song. I was just thinking about um, whales. <laughs> and um, <laughs> the, the, the animal or the location <laughs> if you ever a lot of people talk about you know how how good like you know f breakfasts in europe are famous right like english breakfast and like so that that whole thing right like I, however i don't the, think english is famous for their food being good it's just famous yeah, for right, their right, food right. being like what it is like okay okay <laughs> right how so many like, English restaurants are there around? The we we love beans on toast. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, wait, were you hungover? Because that doesn't count. Um, in those days, if it was morning, I was hungover. So it, it, it isn't everybody drunk at night? Even if, it was, even if it was terrible, you wouldn't have known. I mean, it, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it was delicious. I'm just thinking. Like, yeah, no, it was really good. Let's vote on let's vote on an encore. We vote. I mean, yeah, for I'm, sure we I'm, vote. I'm down. Well, we are ready for that. Are you who who do you want to hear from first? Who's verdict? Uh, let's go the opposite this time. So we'll start at the bottom. Ty, start with me. Okay. Oh man, I wanted to be the one to vote no, but I can't vote no uh -huh. first. Yeah, <laughs> damn it. Okay. I mean, I, 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 I would only do it just to be Simon Cowell. No, I, I can't and do it. I, I, I can't because like everything I've said so far this 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 episode would not would not you know jive with what I'm with what I'm voting. That's um true. everything I've heard I've I've really enjoyed. I do think I'm I am in love. Uh, so with the music that I've been trying to make recently, I've been trying to get better at like mixing and being more of a producer. So I am hearing a lot in the mix that I'm really liking. So not to take away from the musicians again, but I I'm really, really enjoying what I'm hearing done with the mix and, and just mm -hmm. the overall atmosphere being created. But I am mm -hmm. loving the songs. I, I do think that it's really interesting that it is sound very vintage for lack of a better for lack of a better word but able to kind of just create things that are outside of that genre and sound very interesting um yeah there, there's not a single thing i've heard that has put me off i would love to it, i mean full disclosure i'm going to you know add this album to my liked albums and and listen to the entire thing from beginning to the end so no matter what i will hear the the fourth song um so so yes and i'm also willing to hear it now <laughs> yay john well i've uh I uh, I just got a new monitor and a, a new desk. I'm trying to set up some of my equipment, and uh, I was just plugging it in earlier. And the the monitor is not displaying. My my laptop says it doesn't see the monitor, so it's not like I have nothing else to do. But <laughs> I think uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, I'd like. To that that is a valid reason to say no. Like, by the way, I I have something I need to get I, back to, but no, I want to hear another one. John, you're awesome, man. Yeah.
So in that case, distance, your, 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 your vote actually does not matter at all. But yeah. <laughs> finally, somebody love... else's vote doesn't matter. Yeah, it's been mine. I, I love how John's like, I mean, I, I have shit to do, like legitimately need to get shit done, but like, I want to hear another song. That's a testament right there. But yeah, his, these guys. His new I monitor was, is sweet, them... by the way. I, I have to vouch for that. 21 by oh, nine nice. instead of 16 by nine. Oh, shit. oh it makes me want an ultra yeah. wide. Yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. A couple but... of guys at work have one of those. Um, Yeah, I mean, I, I put them on my, on I added them on Apple Music like after the first song. So they're already on there. So I, I'm going to hear it anyway, too. But well, I love this. This is great. Really, I am really so good. Very glad band. that you guys liked it because I, I was already like, at, at a point where, I would I wouldn't listen to it for maybe a month, and then I would hear it in my head, and I'd have to hear these songs again. They're just oh. so good. <clears throat> anyway, I'm long curious shot. now. I'm thinking the next one I present, I might, I might want to have. This is actually something... the first track on the record. Uh, oh, I think okay. I might go for something that you guys just can't stand. Just see if I can find something that you hate. I want. Yeah, that's what I, I tried to do with the onward. I re I tried really <laughs> hard. But like... Oh, oh no, no! You guys will hate the band that I'm bringing. You will hate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, you, I've, I've been just dying to hate something. Yeah, it's like, but, but like I like all you had to do is bring like Fleetwood Mac, John. Yeah. I hate Fleetwood Mac. I I am I can't stand them. I'm, I'm very excited like for my it. next present Ooh, and Nirvana. Well, at least Ooh, I mentioned them on the Deep Purple because if you recall, they yeah, we talked Fleetwood about Mac it. opened for Deep Purple when I saw them. When you first saw them, oh, yeah. yeah. They made a, yeah. I made a sour face when you said Fleetwood Mac. I was like, it, oh. except for in once no. he mentioned it was pre Stevie Nicks and pre, yeah. um, the, the, you, well, you, you kind of warmed then, up to it a little that, bit. I was like, sounds good because Stevie yeah. Nicks yeah. is the problem. It was, it was a different <laughs> Fleetwood Mac. But part of me really wanted to pick a band that I had seen live so I could try to pull mm. out a date. Hmm. That's a cool one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It would be cool to see these guys live. John, that would be well, great. When I saw them on December 27th, <laughs> Tuesday. 1962, it was Tuesday, I remember. It Tuesday. was uh yeah, it was a Tuesday. <laughs> I, bought, uh, I had a I had a Schlitz malt liquor in the uh, what? for 25 cents. You and, would. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, I am I'm, I'm very excited for mine the the uh, artist that I'm presenting next because I am actually not even really a fan of them. I'm presenting them on a viewer's uh, suggestion, so I'm I'm uh, really pumped to put that together and, and kind of present it to all of us. But it's not really someone that I've listened to a lot of. But yes, yeah, so I think that one's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, but yeah, like, without getting sidetracked, yeah, let, let's say so we we all did vote yes. I mean, even though distance, you know, got his vote doesn't really matter. But also, sidetrack is a great tune on this album as well. Is that actually the song title? That's 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 a sweet. Not song this title. one. This one's called Long Shot. That's yeah. what I put it for. It's and I like Long Shot. I also like that this one here that you've linked is a uh, a lyric video. So we've actually got like something to oh, oh, to watch cool. with it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, with that being I said, let's it for this oh. one because I wanted you to really listen to the. Other. The, the other three, oh. like, not, gotcha. Okay, okay. That's fair. That's fair. Well, let's, um, let's check out the fourth song. We all voted for it. Here's the, here's the encore called Long Shot. Go ahead and tell me you got all you want. Five says you're wrong. And I suppose you've come down to help me move things along. And we lapped it up and we're wise enough to know How it goes to get me, honey But we're wise enough to know How it goes to get me, honey Cause we know the ceiling All a little too well Listen, the distance between us it's a very poppy vibe, but I still like it. Oh, yeah. to help me add to the real to the real why we laugh it up i'm a wise enough who knows how it goes to get me honey i'm a wise enough to know how it goes to get me honey Could it took a while once we closed that day? 
Uh, I don't need to do that. Yeah, YouTube, I don't know about that. <laughs> I like that groove too. Cool. In that song, there was the line about the distance between us. I do yeah. think that Craig and, what, and, and John right now have a distance what, between them. Yeah. But. <laughs> well, to me, there's a distance between your the stream that I watched the video on and myself. True. Uh, true. There's a distance between that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at and, that. Yeah. The only Dreams thing. Dreams do come true. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? It was strange. And, and they won one of the uh, uh, last shots of them playing live. Mm -hmm. It was the, the view was from behind the band. And there was an amp facing backwards with a mic mm -hmm. in front of it. I thought, that's interesting. To reduce stage noise. Yep. Hmm. I've always been interested by uh, bands that have like non conventional setups. Like, has, has anyone here ever seen Against Me Live, where, that, no. where the vocalist would actually. His amp, uh, excuse me. I think I think they are now a her. Her amps her. and and vocals are facing ninety degrees to the right. It's mm -hmm. really cool that it was just yeah, not a forward fo facing vocalist. They would face like to the like literally ninety degrees to the right. Just an interesting stage setup. But yeah, that that caught my eye too. In that that one that one setup or that one shot. Yeah. Yeah. And I've seen a lot Did of that... people use those like. Um... Those transparent sort of plastic looking shields that you would see normally in front of a drum kit on oh, stage. Yeah. Yep. I've seen those for amps as well. Mm -hmm. I it's was like playing for, in a band yeah. years ago called the Slag Brothers. And uh, we were in, there was wow. a, a, a like guy that, that became our engineer. We were, we set up in his basement. He had a room in his basement. It was like rectangular and long. And we had this bright idea. We put all of our amps on one side of it and we're all on the other side mm -hmm. you know and we had, we had carpets hanging and so forth and we thought that would be cool because you know it might be we could hear what the audience would hear and we started playing and we like no nobody could hear each other we yeah you know it was like it was just like a mess of noise it didn't work at all <laughs> it's like nah this I love I love the one part of it that was like we can hear what the audience hears. Oh, this sounds horrible. Is this, this what we sound like yeah. on stage? Like holy shit. Yeah. Like, uh, do you have any recordings? Right after that? Um, I think I do. I do. Yeah. I'd love to hear that stuff. We would all be interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the band you played with the most was uh, White Light, right? And that's the one you would have more recordings with, or or do you actually have more with Sly Brothers? Um, or yeah, actually, I I was just because I was uh you know I, we switched rooms upstairs and I moved all my equipment. I was I was yep. going through trying to. Uh, you know, purge stuff, and and I was listening to some old tapes, trying to find what I had of the bands that I played in, hmm. and I haven't run across the Slag Brothers at all. But hmm. uh, uh, yeah. one band, we went into a studio. We got four four tracks that we that were done in the studio that uh, uh, sound, uh, sound original nice because of that reason. You know, uh, original songs. Yeah, that was Mingo. Yes. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, that would be sweet to hear. Yeah. <laughs> 
You should have not told us that and brought and brought Mingo as those four tracks. You you have you have four tracks. You could have actually brought that as a band. That would have been hilarious. Yeah. Hmm. That's an idea. It is an idea. Yeah, no, no, Craig. Craig, uh great presentation. Uh great band. I want to say, yeah, Bravo. Like I enjoy it. Have not heard of them at all. Not a not a name that has ever come come across my that was was why I chose them because I again would never have heard of them either. Mm -hmm. And and I I haven't really asked anybody, but I've never for for not a single one of my friends to at some point not have been like, hey, man, have you heard of this band? Yeah. Like, and for them, for me to like them as much as that's rare. Normally, something that I like this much is recommended to me. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah. I very rarely like come across. Something yeah. Find it like on your much. own. And from from yeah. an interesting happen chance of literally like visiting that small town and then reading an article that was like, oh, this band <laughs> right. is from that small town. Like, yeah, I think that is a really interesting way to discover yeah. a band. I think it's great that like, yeah, like you said, there's not a lot of bands that I've discovered on my own. You know, it's either like uh, right. there's a band I like that maybe they opened for or uh, you know, other stuff like that, rather than just randomly stumbling across an artist that is like, shit, how would I have discovered this if not from this moment right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I honestly, yeah. if, if you would have never showed me this band, I don't know how I would ever come across this. And I'm, and I'm glad that you did, though. Yeah. And isn't it crazy how like, you know, they can be one of the biggest bands in Wales and none of us have ever heard of them. Yep. That's crazy yeah. to me. Like, I want to hear more Welsh bands. What are y'all doing over there? Well, I mean, I mean uh, uh, Bullet from My Valentine are yeah. from Wales. Are but, they? But not even just yeah. not even just limiting it to, to Wales, though. It's like, yeah, bands that are bands or musicians that are probably like really well known in their country that we would have Mm -hmm. never known of. There's probably tons of music out there that is like incredibly popular in the country they come from. But if I'm not going to find it somehow or seek it out, may never come across, you know, a way that I would, that I would find it. It kind of gives you a nice scope of the, um, the futility of it all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. That is, that is a great way of saying that. Yeah. Cause like, yeah. Yeah, you could literally well, become. You know, <laughs> that kind of reminded me. I, uh, today I actually was looking at different types of, uh, music genres mm-hmm. because I haven't been paying attention, you know, and you guys talk about, Oh, it sounds like this band or that band or this type of, and so uh, I was like, my eyes crossed when I saw this <laughs> list of genres it was like almost there's a genre for almost every band yeah (laughs) yeah it seemed like it's like oh my god there is there is a lot of that i mean a lot of it becomes almost like gatekeeping where someone will be like oh that's not really that genre it's this genre instead because if you listen to what the guitarist is doing it's it's totally influenced by this it's like at a certain point it's it's like does it really matter post trance hardcore bop actually (laughs) yes exactly (laughs) it's i think i saw that in the list (laughs) <laughs> it's it's actually i'm sorry it, it, it's post it's post hardcore trans pop i don't think you've really got the yeah i'm sorry but the, the, it's just not there nobody uses the term anymore yeah it's outdated yeah <laughs> But he said, I've even okay. seen that like so much in metal and stuff like that, where it's like all the sub genres oh, yeah. of like, is it, is this metal core? Is this death core? Is this, you know, it like, it, does it really matter yeah. at a certain point? Like, well, I'm sure you could be super specific, but Jewish there's... death metal pop core. <laughs> <laughs> there's an, an argument. Modest that Yahoo? Was made a... He's reggae, Hasidic reggae. That's actually Hasidic what the genre is called. No joke. Right. It's, it... But, that, but actually, Modest Yahoo's not Hasidic anymore. He kind of like. Yeah. By the way, we missed a huge chance to call ourselves the Modest Yahoos. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's actually pretty great, <laughs> dude. But yeah, that, there's. A, I think it was. I think it was Chris Adler from Lamb of God. Like made some post on like Facebook or something like ten years ago, and said like I'm so tired of all these stupid fucking subgenres like. Why the hell can't everything just be heavy fucking metal? Like it's just heavy metal, <laughs> damn it! Like it's just fucking call it metal. It's metal. Yeah. And then someone kind of New made the genre. rebuttal. Heavy fucking metal. Yeah, I mean, well, and someone made the, but the rebuttal, yeah, post post hardcore trance step. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like, but like someone made the rebuttal that like for me, I think it's silly to like have a debate about what genre is this, but it does make it a little easier to find the music you want to listen to. Yeah. When there's true. a lot of different subgenres. Yep. And like some people, like I was actually in like a, a metal forum where like someone told me to like, 
they asked me to list out all the bands that I like so they could rip them apart because they were all like gate keeping <laughs> black metal dickheads. Yeah. Because yeah. people listen to black metal are usually assholes, I've noticed. Like if all they listen to is is black metal, they're usually dicks. Um and if you're uh, and, black if you like black metal, would like to hear your uh your comments. Yeah, please, yeah. <laughs> let us know oh, yeah, if you're into black metal, let us know how yeah. you feel about that. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, cause uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not into like the the terrible shrill guitar tones, crappy <laughs> recording quality, and shrill vocals, and uh, black and white makeup. <laughs> Guys, sorry. Uh, I'm just kidding. I like I like I like all music, um, except for uh, a few bands. Okay, for sorry. I, I feel like I feel like I derailed the conversation. <laughs> but man, like th this band though, dude. Like I'm actually very impressed by your yeah. pick, man. And I yeah. I love the things that they do. Actually, I was talking to Ty the other day. We we're talking about bass lines, and he was saying since he grew up, you know, listening to a lot of punk and like metal, a lot of the time the bass just, you know, plays what the guitar is playing. They just play the root note power chord. Yep. I love what this bassist was doing. There's a part where he is playing different notes, but the same rhythm as the vocals. And that was so fucking cool. And like the way he does the bass, it's the perfect time for staccato, the perfect time for a slide. There's all these dynamics and articulation going on. I love like I, I just love it man like this is just so, it's just a good fucking band and I, I love the use of the word honey um, because like <laughs> you would okay fun fact the band Fall Out Boy honey. that song that they came out with in like 2011 or something like that or maybe it was before that 2006 Sugar We're Going Down it's because Pete Wentz from their band was talking to his dad how he missed the days when they'd say things like that in songs mm -hmm. and so they were like why don't we put the word sugar in a song so they like mm -hmm. wrote I, I i like that kind of thing like what's or like uh um janice you, Joplin. you should really like that song uh sugar sugar right honey yeah you're like really into I mean, that one right sugar in it. how could you it's get super any catchy yeah you're my candy girl it's, it's one of the catchiest songs ever. It's like I love the way that Janis Joplin would say "honey" in music. Like Janice. every song, she's yes. Like I, I don't know. It's like I, I know that's weird, but I, I just and that that chorus entrance in the beginning and the the snare that that snare tone in that last song. It seemed different to me than the other songs. That really, really stood out. And I don't know if that was production or the instrument itself, or probably both. I mean, there's there's probably a lot both. of tricks producers do, right? Yeah, I mean, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, also, it may just be even the literally reamping of the snare. Like, it, it could be any number of things. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh yeah. I was I was yeah. watching a video last night on somebody trying to recreate the drum sound from when the levee breaks, mm. and the stuff they oh, yeah. they explained they explained how they did it for real, and then they did what they could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's like you you can't recreate a room. You yeah. can't recreate yeah. a house. Yeah. Yep. You can't yeah. recreate um you know a specific diameter piece of metal that they use to make a crazy effect. Mm -hmm. You know, like recording is really interesting because if you if you do something other than like just what you can do in your computer and you really get creative, you can make something that no one else can make. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. yeah, I think Queen did a lot of crazy shit like that too. Yeah. Production. Brian May is oh, an yeah. absolute genius. Yeah. Oh yeah. A couple of fires on a rope in front of a microphone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yep. it, it took like it took like six different people to record to do some of the shit that they were doing, like the turning knobs and crap. Like we were talking yeah. about this. I think the last episode yeah. Ty was saying, like in a one of those digital audio work station things you can just automate all that shit yeah. It's easy. yeah you can set it so you know you can play the song and adjust it how you want it where you want it in real time and then next time it'll it'll do it that way on its own yeah rather than having to and have like, five know, dudes with all of their hands on a mixer oh, yeah. turning like yeah, yeah it's like in addition to like the the like amp swinging in front of a mic i've heard of people swinging like microphones by the cord yeah like mm -hmm. in front of an amp like <laughs> it's just i the things that they do you like my <laughs> I was just say Adam Lazara right. called. He wants yeah, his like tactic back. Leslie, <laughs> Leslie speaker for for oh, yeah. uh, Hammond Orton. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, the speaker. rotating speaker. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, that, that, there's so also, much cool stuff done with like the movement and music like that that I've noticed oh, yeah. that it's like yeah, it's like when things you can have a tone, but when that tone starts to move in a certain way or things start to change, like that's when all the interest comes in. Music is movement. I if heard there was no if there was no movement, there air. would be no music. I, I love what was the the, the quote that I, I love about like, that is like if if art is how we decorate space, music is how we decorate time. 
right yeah yeah I think that's a cool way of like, I mean, really like uh, that's really what it is, is we are putting different, like different accents on timing and it's all about like, yeah, keeping this, keeping this, like we're, we're just literally decorating time. But have, you, have you guys heard, it's like an avant-garde thing for like a, like a wind ensemble that they, the conductor gets on the, what's it, stand podium, I forget what we called it. And then the band, like they, you know, get and they're like, you know, ready, they scoot up and they sit there for three and a half minutes and then whatever happens in that three and a half minutes whatever sounds the audience makes is the music interesting it's, it has to do with the anticipation i was talking about earlier yeah mm -hmm. yeah there's like a really dumb name for it, it it's very like you know it's like someone defecating into a fish tank and then calling it art you can kind yeah. of just yeah. <laughs> like and i'm not saying it's just like a weird it's just a weird way to yeah but i've always uh, i've always wanted to try it but i don't know if i can de defecating into a fish tank i mean no, you, oh, you the, just have to buy a fish the, tank dude no, it's not that hard to do you just you know set up and then whatever sound the audience makes is the music and then you just kind of that's that gotcha, gotcha. well that's um, like a lot of effort let's get let's give our let's give our final um let's give our final verdicts here then so um it, like we all voted yes to hear the encore. Is this something that you are going to be listening to going um, going forward? Uh, Craig, who do you want to hear from first? John first this time. Okay. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I, no that's yeah, fair. I, I do want to. I, I do want to listen to. Uh, I want to listen to this entire album, and I want to hear their previous stuff. Nice. Um, and and saying that, I have yet to listen to the aunt word. <laughs> But I will. I will. Okay. I promise. Okay. Okay. But, well, um, yeah. in all fairness, with Dion Word, I, I do have to say that um, the four tracks that I picked to bring are probably the best four, the best. in my opinion. Okay. There's there is a a, a a steep drop off in quality whenever I step okay. away from like the 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 favorites that I had picked. There they have a lot of B sides sure. that are just kind of like meh to me so well i'll listen to catfish and the bottle men before the onward i think i think that may be that may be a good pick but <laughs> Shit. all right craig who yeah. next all right uh distance next i feel like everything john just said is like not showing up at your son's baseball game <laughs> it's like i won't listen to the band that you brought it's, like, it's, like, <laughs> it's okay i'm used to it <laughs> ty said that the point was uh sorry i missed that he wanted us he wanted us to not like it. So, yeah, um, I am definitely going to listen to this group. I think what I'm going to do is before I listen to this album, I'm going to go ahead and listen to the older stuff first. And then I'm going to listen to this one all the way through. Because, like, there's this thing that I talk I talk about all the time. I'm, I'm sure Craig's heard me use the term. I call it, like, musical maturity. That, like, there's always – and every, and a lot of people, I think you said, come, they, that this band came into their own um, – I like witnessing that. Like, I mean, every band yeah. from like, like Machine Head yeah. to uh, the starting line to Blink One Eighty Two to Corn. Like, I think that they all had these albums where they kind of like hit this yeah. level of maturity. So, like, well, I want to go back and hear all the older stuff. Exactly. So I can think about brand new. Like, if you were to listen to like yeah. brand new, like oh, not yeah. listen to your favorite Weapon before hearing Daisy or like Devil, like all the later yeah. stuff. Like, yeah, you want to hear them grow as musicians. Yeah. I hated Daisy the first time I heard it, but that was because I hadn't heard Devil and God yet. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, and I think I got the name of the band wrong, isn't it? It's the men who bottle catfish, the right? <laughs> yes, that's the exactly right. Yeah. You'll find them at the docks. Yeah, the men who bottle catfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's catfish. That'd be a good title for a movie. Nah, I can see more that. Catfish men co bottling catfish. That sounds like a Wes Anderson movie. The me I could totally <laughs> say the men who bottle catfish as being like... Uh, yeah. Perfect opportunity to plug our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Wes Anderson Welsh? <laughs> I don't, I don't i don't think wes anderson actually exists honestly i think he's yeah, i think, I think he's, he's not real he's a character he's that they made up yeah um but my, my my opinion is um i i will i mean i'll go ahead and show you i've already added this album to uh my liked my liked stuff in, oh, yeah. in spotify i'll be listening to this no, album from beginning to end definitely and and echoing what distance said i do want to go back and listen to uh more of the, disc the discography outside of this album i don't have plans to necessarily do it first but i do like the point you made is uh is is great though i i may actually specifically make sure to go back and listen to like yeah what were they doing in 2007 first like i i, I would be interested in hearing like where they came from and, and like uh what they ended up creating yeah. with imbalance so just to reiterate though the first two albums are excellent and i like them a great deal 
so you won't be missing anything okay you won't be you won't be like bored yeah getting back to the most recent album you know what i mean it's yeah. it's good music <clears throat> cool cool well dude yeah honestly again great great job great presentation i think um I, I, we, we talked about between me, you and distance having like, you know, wondering how many artists can we really bring that the other two haven't heard of yet? Right, you know, like, right. so I think, yeah, you, you definitely nailed it with this one, man. One that I have never heard of. And, and again, probably never would have heard of if it, if it wasn't for you introducing me. So yeah, I, I love it. Great. You're like perfect, perfect choice for this man. Great job. Awesome, man. I'm yes. super glad that yeah. you guys liked it, man. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Good much. Choice. Oh, yeah. Much. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate uh, not only the panelists. Thank you guys for being here and having fun. But uh, viewers, thank you for stopping by. This is the end of episode three. And uh, we will be back next month at about um, about four weeks or so. Give us a, give us a little bit of time. And Distance will be presenting uh, some artists that he's going to bring. And then uh, somebody yeah. we're going to hate. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. so definitely come back for that. Let Distance know why he is objectively wrong for listening to what he listens to. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you Enjoy so much, guys. With you guys. Yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> Always yeah. a pleasure, John. Hey, bye now. Take care. Let's Peace hang out guys. sometimes. Ty, sometime when Ty's not around. Okay. <laughs>